splunknology and shot part of the digestive system. First of all, very good if you will be remember you are what you eat. Yeah, it's very important moment, especially for student too, and for all person in this world, because uh, full same uh, good immunity and good homeostasis in the organism. It's a uh, full same with uh, food uh, for organism for some person. You remember organizations levels of the human body. Uh, today we talked about some moment about tissue organs and uh, organ system. For example, it's a digestive tract. Yes, but um, in this picture, for example, internal organs uh, in splunknology, it's digestive tract in this is picture and respiratory system. But it's a not all internal uh, organs or splunknology. What does it mean splunknology? It's a, in a classification in anatomical terminology. And you remember uh, without knowledge of the terms of the uh, correct terms uh, of uh, anatomical uh, terminology science itself is known and um, splunknology starting with digestive system uh, or as a name this system it's an alimentary system uh, alimentary way uh, moving of the uh, drugs for example alimentary tract it's a full same with digestive system Next, uh, it will be respiratory, urinary, genital systems, and a long time in a splunknology uh, was present endocrine glands. But uh, in a modern terminology, uh, present uh, different differences, yeah? And uh, endocrine glands, it's an integra integrating uh, systems uh, first, where present endocrine gland, uh, cardiovascular system, and lymph organs. And now, really, uh, this systemata viscerada, it doesn't mean splunknology, uh, or splunknologia in Latin language, and uh, it's only four systems. Digestive, respiratory, urinary, and genital systems. Uh, very interesting moment in understanding uh, what is tract in the internal after skin uh, present in a, a human body. And uh, I replay uh, now internal organs of splatnology in the digestive system or alimentary system, respiratory system, genital systems. Here must be present systemata, yes, and urinary system. Um, in the splunknology, for example, present uh, apparatus, urogenital apparatus, it's a total uh, together urinary system and genital system, male and female. Some organs present uh, same for these uh, systems, uh, but present in a uh, urogenital apparatus. Next one, it's uh, uh, organs. Organs uh, in the digestive system, for example, it's very simple. It's eight, but uh, more correct if you find in the practice lesson and classification, uh, first of all, digestive system, it's a uh, 16 organs in the digestive tract. Uh, plus a uh, glands uh, near digestive tract. Next, uh, respiratory system, uh, genital system with internal and external organs and urinary system. Urinary system, it's a number six. It's a, a six organs with a specialty function. So really, if very simple uh, organization of the splunknology, uh, it will be all structure after skin. 
it's an internal organs uh, all structure after skin in a human body it's a muscles bones joints uh, all systems uh, our organism without integument commune or uh, skin and breast yes in the finish uh, it will be after skin uh, without skin uh, internal organs but splanchnology splanchnology uh, consists of with uh, four parts i play digestive system respiratory system genital systems because male and female and urinary system uh, it's different organs it's a different organs in this technology really present uh, big version organs with some uh, structure and function so, uh, and uh, for example in a digestive tract it's a long way uh, Mm, more than seven meters uh, where moving food in the first time next one it's a hemus and in the uh, finish it's a physis uh, moving to the external it's a many different uh, pr processes uh, in a digestive system uh, for uh, our uh, uh, vegetative function respiratory system it's a second part of the splachnology in the respiratory system main organs are located in the uh, head neck and uh, thorax or uh, chest in the digestive tract uh, digestive tract moving uh, after diaphragm in the abdominal cavity and big portion uh, organs uh, located in the abdominal cavity and connecting with uh, a special serous membrane it's a peritoneum after respiratory system it's a urogenital apparatus or um, genital systems and urinary system uh, it's very important um, uh systems and apparatus for uh, with many functions for example genital apparatus uh, genital systems for continue our life in this is world and uh, male and female organs it's uh, uh, some differences but some um, uh, same function uh, and structure with uh, same uh, forms present in a genital uh, systems for example male uh, with external structure it's a especially glands uh, with mixed uh, function it's a testis or orchis or didymis uh, it's a three names one organs uh, you know in a um, female it's ovary but ovary located really in a uh, abdominal pelvic cavity uh, and uh, some organs in a in, uh, internal um, in a splanchnology have different forms for example uh, if you know it's a, a dual denim with four parts superior descending horizontal and ascending and uh, it's the denim uh, tubal form organ but present in a plant technology in a different internal organs uh, uh, especially organs with parenchyme uh, structure for example kidney uh, for example liver or uh, hepar in the latin language uh, and tubal form organ have different uh, yeah. structure in the external and in the internal too uh, for example uh, large intestine and uh, small intestine with different forms of the mucous membrane present uh, in the internal uh, structure and uh, different uh, 
layers of the uh, wool, uh, these organs, but not only uh, parenchymatous organ and tubular form or uh, organs with cavity, for example, stomach, present mix organ. For example, uh, tongue, tongue uh, or a lingua in Latin language consists of not only with muscles and uh, uh, it's a big portion, uh, a special structure for taste uh, in a mucose membrane. Mixed uh, structure, it's a, for example, teeth uh, in a connecting with a mandible and maxil. And uh, uh, at the moment, very important, it's a structure of the wall in internal organs. All or organs uh, with um, cavity, for example, tubular organ or sac, especially for food, it's a stomach, for example, have uh, in a standard minimum three layers, mucose membrane, submucose, muscular and serous. Uh, submucosa, it's a, uh, a special space where present big portion of the vessels and nerves and uh, different structure, tunica muscularis, muscle layers in a different organs uh, connecting with functions, these organs. Um, serous uh, membrane, if absent serous membrane, for example, in esophagus, present uh, tunica adventitia. Um, three serous uh, layer, uh, mem especially structures with serous membrane with uh, two layer with and parietal, uh, for example, present in a uh, thoracic cavity or thorax. It's a uh, structure with uh, visceral and parietal pleura. Pleura, it's a special uh, sac with this is two layers and in the internal between visceral and parietal present uh, pleural cavity. Uh, full same uh, serous membrane will be present in a abdominal uh, cavity, uh, it's a peritoneum and between two lungs uh, present heart in a pericardium. Uh, pericardium, pleura, and uh, uh, peritoneum have two layers, visceral and parietal. Uh, but uh, it's uh, in the external, yes, connected. At the moment, it's uh, in the lungs, in the uh, liver, present a special structure in uh, internal organs. It's, uh, for example, uh, segments of the liver. Uh, lobes in a uh, uh, lungs in a, uh, in the uh, liver too, and uh, this is lobes delayed to the segments, eight segment in a, a liver. Uh, it's very important in the clinic, really, and not only for uh, treatment diseases in a transplantation and for understanding some disorders uh, with localization in a different region, for example, in the lungs, in the uh, liver and other organs too. I replay a uh, long time endocrine uh, organs. It was part of the splatnology. But now in a modern terminology, it uh, will be in a integrating systems uh, first. We are present three parts. It's an endocrine glands and cardiovascular system and endo uh, lymph uh, uh, lymphoid organs. For this structure, uh, must be present some liquid, for example, hormone, blood or lymph uh, for uh, function, functions of these organs. As an uh, important moment for all internal organs, it's uh, topography. Topography consists of these uh, three parts. First of all, it's a skeletotopy, next syntopy and holotopy. Holotopy, uh, it's a projection, projection to the skin, to the some regions in the human body. 
and uh, uh, one variant it's a well located our stomach yeah our stomach uh, skeletotopy it will be uh, starting um, um, cardiac sphincter near uh, project projection of the body tense vertebras but if we uh, looked in this picture uh, fundus have location near nine uh, vertebra, uh, thoracic vertebra. And in a Finnish uh, pyloric sphincter located near uh, body of the first uh, lumbal, uh, body of the uh, lumbal first uh, vertebras. And we uh, were a simple uh, working second lumbal. It's a... Uh, down part uh, where the pro projection this organs. Next of all, it's a projection duodenum. Yes, it's a skeletotopy, for example, duodenum, first part of the uh, small intestine. Skeletotopy projection to the skeleton. Syntopy, it's a which organ uh, touch to, for example, stomach. It's a, a, a liver, diaphragm, uh, uh, par, par, paris of abdomen, uh, lien, uh, kidneys, supraadrenal glands, and uh, pancreas and colon. Um, and after this moment, we can uh, look in a picture by located some region in the external structure. And in the Finnish, it's uh, syntopy. All syntopy, different organs uh, in the abdominal cavity, uh, very important nine region uh, in the anterior wall of uh, abdomen. Abdomen or stomach, yes. It's a projection uh, uh, these organs to the skin in the external. Um, two lines in a horizontal position, uh, starting with uh, ending point of uh, uh, ribs uh, line, where I finish. Uh, this is ribs in the down, and uh, this variant uh, line delayed. Epigastrum, epigastrum, including one, two, three regions uh, in uh, uh, this picture, uh, and four, five, and six, it will be mesogastrum. And uh, second horizontal line, uh, it's starting in a special structure of the skin. Uh, in this is point, it's a spina iliaca anterior superior um, in a horizontal delayed uh, mesogastrium and gypogastrium. Seven, eight, and nine, it's a gypogastrium. Four, five, six, it's a mesogastrium. And one, two, three, it's an epigastrium. But uh, not only horizontal uh, section and three floors uh, present in the abdominal uh, cavity uh, in uh, this uh, structure of the abdominal wall, two uh, vertical line uh, near uh, musculus rectus abdominis uh, in a lateral region delayed. This is three floors for to the nine region. First of all, it's a number two. It's a region where projection, big portion of the stomach, and uh, it's an epigastrial region. Next one, one and three. One and three, it's a, a region where located uh, liver and um, uh, Spleen or uh, liver and lien. Liver and lien located in a radio hypochondrium. What, what does it mean, chondros? It's a, a special structure of the ribs. In the ribs, you remember present uh, cartilage part and uh, costal part. 
This is region where located big portion of the cartilage uh, have name regio hypochondriac, uh, right and left. Next time, it's a mesogastrium. Mesogastrium delayed to three region. Um, first of all, it's a lateral region, right? Lateral region left. And uh, number five, it's umbilic region because here present umbilicus uh, and uh, some organs projection in this is region two. Uh, next, uh, seven, eight, and nine, it's a hypogastrium and uh, near pubic bone. Here, it's a pubic region. Seven and nine, it's a uh, especially region with name inguinal region. Inguinal because here present inguinal ligament right and left and in this is a uh, nine region in the abdominal wall, anterior abdominal wall. Projection uh, different organs and first of all it's a uh, you uh, study in region in a uh, human body in the skin, uh, for example, where uh, will be present duodenum or uh, pancreas. It's a big part uh, location between epigastrium uh, and mesogastrium, but in a clinic may present irradiation of the pain. Radiation of the pain, it's a uh, when, uh, uh, for example, pancreas located in the epigastrium, but pain uh, with this is um, glands will located in the skin in the umbilic region. And other uh, organs, for example, kidney for lateral re region, it's a lateral, not a lumbal. Uh, some uh, books and others have information. It's a other name, but correct name. It's a lateral region where located ascending part and descending part of the colon. It's a part of the large intestine and uh, kidney right and left and other. In the inguinal region uh, present, for example, second with appendix, uh, it's a, in the right uh, inguinal region, it's a uh, symptoms in this region when uh, present inflammation of the uh, uh, sorry, a, uh, appendix, yeah, appendix is epiploids. So, very important moment really in the uh, structure in the internal organs, it's at different ages. Uh, it's, uh, for example, liver, liver uh, in the adult, liver in adult, uh, but liver in the uh, newborn abdominal cavity, the half of abdominal cavity, very big size of the uh, liver uh, uh, in abdominal cavity and in a different uh, ages uh, change form and structure internal organs uh, in a different uh, cavity and in a different system. So first of all it's a uh, about structure internal organs it's uh, information of the digestive system as a uh, uh, mean it's an alimentary system and uh, gastrointestinal tract gastro stomach intestinal is intestinal yes but uh, different organs uh, in this system digestive system after studying this chapter you will be able to name all parts of the digestive system and to discuss the function of each part uh, defined com uh, combining forms used in uh, building words uh, that uh, relate to the digestive system. Identify the meaning of relating uh, abbreviation and 
means uh, the common uh, uh, diagnosis, clinical procedures, and laboratory tests using the uh, uh, treating of the digestive system. Uh, not only um, English version important, Latin name all organs in the elementary canal or digestive system and Greek name. For example, mouse. Mouse, it's a uh, oral cavity in a Latin language, but uh, in a Greek language, it's a stoma. Stomatologist, some uh, doctor uh, who treat um, all structure in the oral cavity. It's a not only mucous membrane, it's a not only uh, teeth uh, as a structure treatment too. After oral cavity, it's a pharynx, pharyngitis, inflammation of mucous membrane of the pharynx. Esophagus, uh, three parts. Stomach, it's a, a special sac. It's a ventriculus or gaster in the Latin and, uh, and the Greek language, as this name, this is organ. Small intestine and large intestine, and large intestine in the Finnish. It's a part of the alimentary canal, very simple. And um, in the Latin language, Systema Digestorium, or digestive system, or Systema Alimentarium. Oral cavity, cavitus oris, pharynx with three parts, esophagus with three parts, gaster or stomach with three parts, intestinum, tenue, uh, intestinum, it doesn't mean uh, intestine, S uh, small, crassum, it's a uh, large intestine. But not only digestive tract, uh, it's uh, all organs in the digestive system. Present biggest uh, glands in uh, our organism, it's a liver, but it's a not only gland, uh, it's a uh, organs with different other function too. Uh, I think maybe in a liver or hepar in Latin language, present as the biggest uh, number of the function in a, a whole organism. Uh, vesica failure or bile uh, cyst uh, or vesica biliaris, it's a special sac for uh, bile. Pancreas, uh, two, second uh, biggest uh, glands in the organism. And peritoneum, I replay, it's a serous membrane. Uh, present in the uh, abdominal cavity and connect with internal organs in abdominal cavity with two layers, uh, visceral and parietal. Next, uh, it uh, may present some schematic here. Yeah? Uh, in a digestive system, present some regions and glands. Uh, regions, it's oral cavity, pharynx, esophagus, Stomach, small intestine, and large intestine. But small intestine, it's a three parts, duodenum, jejunum, and ileum. Uh, small in, uh, large intestine with three parts too, cecum, colon, and rectum. If you looked, colon, for example, have four parts. And for remembering this structure, some methods we will talk uh, next time. Glands. Glands in a digestive tract uh, present big portion um, vestibular glands and uh, biggest salivary gland in the human body. It's a, in the um, oral um, cavity, submandibular, sublingual, and parotid uh, uh, glands. It's especially for uh, producing of the saliva. Uh, and uh, it's a major or big salivary glands. Big portion, small uh, or minorous uh, salivary glands present too in the oral cavity. And I replace the biggest uh, glands in the human body. It's a liver or hepar in Latin language and uh, near liver, near stomach present uh, important glands. It's a pancreas. 
it's uh, what is the way uh, or tracking is a piece of the toast, for example, through the alimentary canal. First of all, yeah, this is toast with big portion of the cheese, for example, or other food. Uh, uh, when you like this moment in the morning is a toast. Uh, touch with your lips. Lips. Next of all, with teeth. Yes, you crush. This is toast. And uh, this is toast uh, located in the mouth or oral cavity. I replay in the Greek language, it's a stoma. Stoma, it's an oral cavity or mouth. Next, when you can chew in, this is food. It's a, this toast. This toast move into the pharynx. Pharynx, it's a tubular organ with three parts. Please remember, all organs in a digestive system with tubular form have three parts. For example, pharynx consists with three parts, nasopharynx, oropharynx, and laryngopharynx. Next, after epiglottis, epiglottis closed uh, of the respiratory tract in, in the laryngopharynx, and uh, food not moving to the respiratory system here, this is place, yeah? Next time, uh, food moving to the esophagus. Esophagus, it's a tubal organs or not? Yeah, it's a tubal organs, organ, and consists of with three parts. It's a cervical part in the neck region, thoracic part in the thorax and abdominal part. It's a small part after diaphragm. Next, esophagus, moving this is food to the stomach. Gastroventricles, gastritis, inflammation of mucous membrane of the stomach. Very important moment for diagnostic different disorders uh, in the digestive system and in the stomach too. I replace stomach or gaster or ventriculus. It's a three names uh, of the stomach and uh, in Ukrainian language, yeah? It's a shlunok, shlunok. In Russian language, it's a zeludok. Shlunok, gaster, ventriculus, stomach. Four names only for a stomach. After this is lecture, very good if you will be remem remember. Uh, next question, it's a stomach, it's a tubal organ or not? No, it's a sack, sack for food. And uh, in this is sacked four parts, four parts. Okay, next, uh, duodenum, jejunum, ileum. It's a three parts of the small intestine. Small intestine, it's a tubal organ. Tubal organ with three parts, duodenum, jejunum, and ileum. Cecum, colon, and rectum. It's a three parts of the large intestine. And after ileum, ileocecal valve, uh, colon delayed to colon. So it's a cecum with appendix. Next, colon or large intestine parts, colon ascending transverse, colon descending and colon sigmoidal. It's a four parts in the colon. And in a finish, it's a rectum. Rectum or proctus. It's a ending point in a rectum. It's uh, anus. Anus after anus uh, in the uh, process of the defecation, uh, moving feces to the external. It's long way or tracking or a piece of uh, toast through the elementary canal and uh, totally uh, I replay. What is a uh, mouse? Mouse consists with two parts because in a starting and in a finish uh, digestive tract present two organs with two parts. In a starting, it's oral cavity with vestibulum oris and oral cavity propria. A main part, well located tongue and uh, opening salivary glands, 
And in a Finnish uh, rectum or proctus with two parts, it's ample and anus. I replay in a digestive tract, in a digestive tract, digestive tract starting in a um, oral uh, cavity and finish in a uh, anus. Present two organs with two parts in a starting and in a finish. Uh, mouth or oral cavity uh, digestion uh, begins in the mouth where food is taken in and, and broken down into the smaller uh, particles by chewing. Uh, very important moment in this uh, time, it's a chewing muscle in the uh, head. Saliva, especially liquid in the mouth, uh, most of the food, and mix uh, food with saliva. Next time, uh, moving to the pharynx, pharynx or throat. Three parts of the pharynx, nasal, oral, and laryngopharynx, because tubal organs, tubal organs, in the digestive system, all tubal organs with three parts. Please remember. Next, esophagus. Esophagus uh, connecting with stomach. Esophagus consists of with three parts: cervical, thoracical, and abdominal part. Here, abdominal part should uh, portion connect with with stomach, and in the stomach, stomach secrets gastric juice. Uh, which kills microorganisms that may have been uh, ingested with food. The food uh, then passes uh, into the small intestine. Small intestine with tubular form and small intestine consists of with uh, three parts. And uh, to the stomach, esophagus, here esophagus, after throat, or pharynx, esophagus, uh, it's a muscle organs. Uh, muscle of the throat of pharynx make is it possible to swell of food, uh, which then uh, descends uh, through, uh, through the muscle tube called esophagus to the enter, uh, to the, uh, the enter the stomach. And after stomach, starting small intestine small intestine or intestinum tenue in the Latin language. Uh, small intestine uh, consists of with three parts. I will replay, it's a tubal organ uh, and consists with three parts. It's a duodenum, jejunum and ileum. Food is for the digested in the small intestine with the help of enzymes from the pancreas and bile, bile with liver and uh, uh, enzymes from the pancreas, special glands uh, and bile from the liver. Uh, next, very important organ near small intestine and connecting in uh, ducts in a duodenum descending parts. It's a liver, uh, liver, it's a all blood leaving the small intestine travels to the liver. Uh, for example, blood, venous blood with stomach will move into the liver. Uh, venous blood with all unpeer organ, organs in the abdominal cavity uh, uh, will be moving to the liver and uh, the liver removes absorb nutrients from the uh, blood and users uh, stores them uh, or converts uh, them into products needed by uh, the body. Uh, next, after small intestine, small intestine, you looked uh, ileum finishing uh, and connecting with cecum, uh, it's the first part of the large intestine, and uh, large intestine, it's uh, this free uh, structure. It's a cecum, colon, and rectum or proctus. 
proctologist. Yes, it's a, a specialist for treatment of the rectum. The walls of the large intestine absorb water from the uh, undigested food, uh, leaving semi-solid waste a matter called feces. Uh, and this is waste product are extracted from the body through the rectum and anus. Anus, it's a ending point food, uh, but it's a really not food, it's a will, uh, will be feces. And after defecation, moving to the, uh, uh, after rectum, to the external. And totally, organs of the digestive system, it's a oral cavity with different structures, it's a T salivary glands, uh, uh, palatinum, muscles uh, and other structures, gingiva, uh, neotis and other. Next, it's a pharynx, pharynx with three parts, nasopharynx, oropharynx and laryngopharynx, esophagus, three parts, cervical, thoracic and abdominal parts, stomach with four parts, uh, cardiac region, fundus, body and pyloric region, liver, gallbladder, near liver, abbreviation GB, uh, pancreas, small intestine, large intestine, and in a finished large intestine with rectum and anus. In the oral cavity, uh, very important, it's a, a big portion teeth with different form and function. You know, uh, present milk teeth and uh, teeth in adult. It's a different number in 20 uh, milk teeth in a child and uh, 32, uh, 16 up and 16 down uh, or connect with mandible and maxil. Uh, it's a structure for uh, crush food in the oral cavity. Uh, and uh, very important moment, it's a really saliva in the or, uh, oral cavity because salivary glands, salivary, uh, saliva, uh, moistens and lubricates food. Uh, mouse uh, breaks up uh, food particles and um, next swallows in a pharynx uh, to the esophagus transport food, uh, main function of the esophagus uh, transport food to the stomach, um, stirs and uh, turns food, uh, pepsin, digestive proteins, uh, acid, mucose protein, stomach wall, and limited absorption. Um, liver and gallbladder, a special structure to produced and uh, location, big portion of the bile, and when food moving after stomach to the duodenum, uh, bile moving to the descending part of the duodenum. Together with uh, secrets of the pancreas. Uh, pancreas, it's a mixed uh, uh, glands, mixed function glands, endocrine and exocrine, exocrine, it's a, a, a special um, pancreas juice to the uh, digestion. In a small intestine, uh, complete uh, uh, digestion, because uh, protects uh, gut wall, absorbs nutrients, most water, uh, peptidase digest proteins, and uh, amylase digest uh, poly saccharides. In a large intestine, large intestine reabsorbs some water and ions and forms uh, and uh, stores of the feces in a finish in a rectum, um, stores of expect feces. And opening uh, of elimination of feces in the anus. And short version uh, for replay this is digestive tract first of all mouth cavitas oris in the latin language stoma in the greek language stomatologist 
for example, a specialist for treatment, not only dance, teas, yes, and gingiva. Uh, it's uh, some variant for diagnostic uh, problem in a vestibulum oris and um, uh, oral cavity propria. In an oral cavity located tongue with uh, some different function too, it's a, a moving of the food, uh, taste in a, a different region located, especially structures in the mucous membrane, uh, teeth for crush of the food, and uh, salivary glands. It's a three biggest salivary gland in a uh, with uh, ducts connecting uh, with oral cavity. Uh, what is your opinion? What does it mean this picture? Dear students, what is it? What is the picture? What is what does it mean? Space for human. It's a 12 pair of the cranial nerves uh, in our head and neck. Cranial nerves, it uh, will be in the next time, um, in the uh, next uh, year or next semester, uh, a special study of the nervous system. And it's, uh, for example, for mnemonic technique for remembering some uh, cranial nerves, what is function. And you looked in a tongue uh, or lingua present in relation 9, 10, and uh, 12 pair of the cranial nerves. Three with 12 pair of cranial nerves um, for innervation uh, tongue. So uh, after oral cavity, it's a pharynx. Pharynx connecting, nasopharynx connecting during uh, hoanus with nasal cavity. After Fauces connecting with oral cavity and laryngopharynx, laryngopharynx, oropharynx, and nasopharynx. Laryngopharynx, uh, when epiglot is closed, foot not connecting with respiratory tract. Esophagus, cervical, thoracic, and abdominal part uh, connecting with stomach, and it's a muscle, muscular tube and uh, some process peristalsis uh, starting in the uh, esophagus where uh, this is food moving to the stomach and in stomach uh, for parts cardiac parts uh, fundus body or corpus and pyloric part uh, stomach function major function of the stomach is a storage of Ingested food, mechanical breakdown of ingested uh, food, and uh, producing by of um, in three uh, in, uh, intrinsic factor um, a glycoprotein required to, for absorption of vitamin B12 and in the small intestine and uh, acid and enzy enzymes uh, chemical structure in the internal of uh, and connecting with mucous membrane. It's a, for example, X-ray examination uh, of the stomach uh, during digestion. A small intestine, it's a uh, part of the stomach. Here, uh, pyloric sphincter uh, finish and uh, next starting blue hole in this picture, it's a duodenum. Duodenum, jejunum, and ileum. It's a three parts of the uh, small intestine, and a duodenum consists of these three parts. It's a superior part, uh, descending and uh, horizontal and ascending part. What does it mean? It's uh, this part uh, connecting with head of pancreas. And uh, this is for parts in a, a duodenum, uh, very important for understanding some um, digestive process. And here uh, it's a superior part, descending, horizontal, and ascending. And only in the descending part, uh, connecting 
ducts, bile ducts, and uh, ducts of pancre pancreatic uh, ducts uh, connecting with uh, descending parts. Please remember. Next, a large intestine a reabsorption of the water, uh, compaction of the intestinal contains interfaces and storage of feces and material prior to defecation. Uh, intestinal crust or large intestine consists of this cecum. Cecum is the first part in a large intestine here, for example, in this picture uh, with appendix. Cecum, as a name in a Greek language, Tiflon, inflammation of mucous membrane of the cecum, Tiflitis. And colon, colon with four parts ascendings, transfers, descendings, and sigmoid. It's a, uh, four parts uh, of the colon are at play ascending, transfers, descendings, and sigmoid parts of the uh, colon. And in the Finnish, it's a rectum or proctos in a Greek language. Proctos, uh, proctologist, uh, it's a special specialist for problems with these organs. And very different picture present, same structure in the uh, different cavity and uh, if totally with numbering it's an oral cavity or mouse with two parts fine with three parts but only two parts it's a part of the digestive system because nasal pharynx it's a for respiratory tract esophagus three parts stomach four parts uh, a small intestine three parts and uh, large intestine three parts and three biggest glands uh, in the uh, types of the glands in the digestive system. And totally uh, some uh, structure with some organs, with some parts, uh, as a uh, schematic, you uh, will create it too in a practical lesson, I hope. And uh, totally digestive system, it's a complex organs uh, that do mechanical and chemical processing of food absorb the products of uh, its splitting uh, and separate its uh, ingested wasted. Uh, long way for food, uh, start the beginning in the oral cavity and uh, finish in the anus. Um, it's uh, near 10 meters, really it's a near 10 meters digestive canal and uh, in the old tubal, um, organs in a digestive system. It's a multi-layer walls with uh, such covers, mucose, mus muscle, uh, and external, uh, and mucose uh, with a special um, corn covers in the internal part of organs. And uh, in a mucose membrane, um, different organs, uh, different uh, um, structure. Muscle layer in a different organs to uh, have two or three uh, stratum or uh, layers. Uh, very interesting external covering of the body transforms into the mucous near mouse and uh, anus. Uh, next, uh, it's an uh, internal structure, for example, in the stomach. In a norm, it's a structure with uh, some fields, uh, leads and other, but really uh, in a diagnostic uh, procedural and laboratory terms, it's a scopy, a type of the endoscopy. Endoscopy um, may present lower endoscopy and upper endoscopy. Yeah? Well, uh, when problem with the stomach, first of all, uh, it's may present fibrogastroesophago duodenoscopy. What does it mean? It's a when uh, a special uh, structure moving to the first esophago gastro duodenoscopy. 
uh, way to the stomach. It's a one person. This is a diagnostic method. Next uh, moment, it's a, a special located. Uh, this is zoned in the stomach. And uh, next time, moving to the duodenum. And uh, it may present uh, some secrets of the bile and pancreas for uh, diagnostic. As a uh, moment, it may present proctoscopy, sigmoidoscopy, peritoneoscopy, and uh, different X-ray and other imaging techniques. MRI, CAT uh, scan, barium swallow, a special structure for creating structure uh, of the organs. Uh, upper gastrointestinal uh, is intestinal series whole uh, let's histography, liver scan, ultrasound, and other. Uh, what find, uh, what structure may present in a, uh, this problem with, in the stomach? First of all, it may present erosion. Ero uh, erosion, uh, eros uh, erosive uh, disorders. Uh, when pr present uh, inflammation of mucous membrane, it's a gastritis. Inflammation of mucous membrane. Uh, next variant, it's a present alche. Alche when crush, not only mucous membrane. Connecting this is a disorders to the muscle layers. It's a biggest pain. It's a biggest problem for organism. But uh, in a finish, and it's a may present. Opening in a wall of the stomach, it's a perforated alge. It's a very, very dangerous moment and uh, very important. Well located, this is alge in the stomach, in the esophagus, in the duodenum. What region? Uh, because when in a body, in the anterior or uh, posterior wall, it's a one variant, but uh, very important moment. It's a vascularization. It's a vessels uh, near uh, curvature, small and large. And if erosion location near this structure, near this is region, uh, curvatura, uh, it's very dangerous because may crush vessels and blood moving to the stomach. And uh, it's uh, very, very heart uh, symptom when present this moment. So I replay uh, for diagnostic, it's a, a lower and upper endoscopy may present. As a method, it's a biopsy and uh, uh, different other method. And in a finish, I have for you uh, some phrases, never stop looking carry on with your systemic approach.